Hello folks, Bart Bai here and uh, today I'm back with some footage from Gamescom. This footage was taken on the first day, which was actually a day uh, exclusively for press and trade uh, the visitors. So yeah, it was not very busy and uh, we could uh, move around in the different halls without too much problem. And I had an appointment with the folks at uh, Xbox, the folks at uh, uh, Cooked Master, for which you will be seeing a lot of uh, nice products in here. And I think I also had a meeting with the people at HyperX. So yeah, I'm gonna try to do a little montage in, in this video of some stuff I have seen there. I will try a, uh, to add a little music to it, but uh, especially have a look at the nice stuff from Cooler Master. I kind of like that, that big case you will see at the start, which you are probably seeing right now. It's, it's just lovely. Uh, it has a lot of room, uh, a lot of uh, uh, nice LED stuff. So I'm really thinking of getting one of those to start building my own gaming PC for the channel. So yeah, stay tuned. I will be uh, getting back to you guys when I have an update. So after all that hardware, I went for a little walk on the show floor and I uh, stumbled, well I didn't stumble, I went to visit the Indie Arena booth, which has a lot of little booths where uh, uh, some uh, indie developers are uh, taking uh, their games and showing them to the public and there were a few of pretty nice games. Sojourn, as you see right now, is one of those which I will be talking a lot of more about later on. But I also uh, found a few other games which kind of interest me. But in one corner there was uh, a game which really interested me. A game made by originally by two uh, Dutch brothers. And the game was called Deliver Us The Moon. It's like a story-based uh, episodic uh, 3D adventuring first-person thingy which looked just amazing and I will be trying to see if I can find more about that game and talk to you a little bit more about that later on as well. So after that I had an appointment with the folks at the HyperX booth and they showed me quite a few nice uh, updates to their products like the RGB keyboard, the RGB mouse and they also had some other uh, new stuff which I sadly wasn't allowed to film nor am I allowed to talk about those uh, right now but I think they will be coming out with some up updates on that in, in the near future I guess so yeah you'll have to stay tuned for that. So after the uh, HyperX update, it was time to venture down to the uh, areas where the public would be coming the next few days. And as you can see, it's pretty empty now. I mean, at the World of Tanks uh, booth, you can uh, ask Scripter and Tank how it was the day they visited us. Even the Xbox booth was still pretty empty. Of course, it was only available, accessible to press and uh, trade visitors. So that was pretty nice. I played a few games. Uh, I, there was one I liked, which was the Ori game here, which was a puzzle game. And after that, I went for another walk and as you can see it's okay it's it's busy but uh, well not all that busy actually compared to the what will happen the next day you will notice a big difference to show you the big difference I tried to shoot this little piece of footage which is actually the whole way uh, on its most busy time of the day on the press and trade people uh, day and I will try to compare that uh, with the footage I took on the, the public days to show you the big difference so and after all that I tried to find myself a nice calm little place to uh, try to import some of the footage into my uh, laptop which I had with me and I did my very first uh, vlog from there which I uploaded while being at Gamescom so yeah uh, by now it was time to grab a beer as you can see I hope you enjoyed this uh, little video and I hope to be seeing you guys in the next one and until then have fun and stay safe bye bye